Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee. Yes, BLS stands for Bob Lee Show. <laughs> Welcome you. Uh, you're watching Open, the only live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. Stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Now, leading things off on April the 28th, Healing in the City will host a, a meditation workshop. Joining us for a preview, we have founder Noelle Lauren. We welcome you to the show. Now, you do a number of things, right? And you've been doing it since you were a little, little baby girl. Yeah, my grandmother was one who kind of started teaching me all types of alternative uh, therapies. Um, she used to go to the doctor and she couldn't get any, they, they would give her medicine and she still wouldn't feel better. So she just started researching and, and teaching me how to naturally heal yourself. She said the doctor is not getting to the root <laughs> of the problem. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you see that? I mean, as a, as a child, how did you see that? Well, what was mom doing or grandma doing back then that you thought was going on? Well, she, she would just, with what she would eat, she would incorporate these herbs and these oils. And it wasn't until I was 19 and I got into a really bad car accident and I had started getting physical pain that I started, picked back these kind of therapies and yeah. pretty much healed myself mm -hmm. from it. Yeah, because now you're, you're a practitioner. Yes. You have something called Healing in the City. Yep. Tell us about it. So I, I started it a couple years ago. Um, I, I'm a Reiki practitioner. I do crystal healing. Um, I do Explain Reiki. So Reiki is a uh, Japanese uh, translation, uh, universal life force. So it's healing through energy of the hands. Everybody has it. Um, it's just we're able to kind of channel it in our own way. So that means there's blockages, blockages going on. Right. Correct. You are put in place to get rid of, to help Right, exactly. Of. People have certain blockages. That's what causes a lot of disease. If you're sick, especially if you're stressed out, um, you know, your body physically starts to feel those things. So somebody should come to you if they have what? Or if they're experiencing what? Stress, if there's pain. I, you know, I'm no way the, to replace the doctor, but it's a way to also, you know, heal your mind, which that affects all these things. It right there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you became, of course, you became interested in it uh, when Grandma started doing it, but then you exploded onto the scene yourself and said, "Hey, let me get into these uh, different things." Now you've helped clients move through their, their blockages and expand their lives through many of your practices. What what stands out in your mind? What's one that people come to you the most for? Um, you know, it's mostly, uh, you know, people come because they have blockages in their chakras. And so Reiki is really good for that. Mm -hmm. But I also incorporate sound therapy and oils, which is, you know, kind of when you come, you get all five senses taken care of. Um, also, being that I used to be a dancer, I now also do movement therapy. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. How does that work? I have a space over there. No, you don't have to do it. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, there's just one of your chakras. Um, when it's blocked off, it's because you're not you're not moving. Um, so you know, in the beginning of a session, I'll, we'll just start doing certain things to get it going, and you know you that move the core a lot. Yeah, a lot move the, the core. core, and like you know, I we also have a, I also offer a dance meditation class. So it's kind of easy for people to come in, and it's not just a matter of sitting there and like trying to channel it. It's it. getting lost in the music yeah. and being able to kind of free your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And what do you do this practice? I, uh, I have a practice in Williamsburg, but I also have a studio in Manhattan, and I do my meditation workshops. Um, you make house calls? I do, I do, yeah. Right. Um, but the meditation workshops are at uh, Center of Remembering and Sharing. It's yeah. a great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have people helping you, or you do it yourself? Nope, I do it all myself, yeah. How does aromatherapy come into play? Well, How does that work? Different, different flowers and herbs have um, a natural healing property. Yeah. Um, so something like frankincense, which has been around since the mm -hmm. Egyptians That's used right. it. They actually used to take the oils um, and rub it on the muscles of uh, the Egyptians that would build the pyramids. And all the way from there, it's, you know, comes yeah. back. This is before any modern medicine was even around. That's so. Right. 
they obviously were doing something right. You know, we have to take from, from that. Yeah. Yeah. Happiness therapist? Yeah, so about two years ago, I came across this, uh, this company called Project Happiness. They're a non-for-profit based out of California. And basically, they have a curriculum to uh, mm -hmm. teach happiness to people, which is like, that's crazy, but they have this seven habits of, you know, a daily practice that you could do yeah. to promote happiness. And so I actually just became the ambassador, the New York ambassador yeah. for this project. And, and they said laughter, that's all a part of healing also. Of course. Use laughter. Yeah. That's why a lot of people listen to a lot of uh, comedic uh, episodes. Uh, they listen to the Steve Harveys and those people yeah. to help I mean, them with the healing. I mean, in shamanic cultures from the beginning they would say when you would go to a healer and you would be you know something was wrong they say when did you stop singing when did you stop dancing yeah, yeah. when you, I that's yeah. you know those things that we need to bring part of our life it's really hard being in the city and getting stuck in you know the the rut of it but yeah. um, anything we missed before we go uh, no I don't think so just join me Friday for uh, the meditation workshop, it's going to be okay. really amazing. Where's it going to be? It's going to be at CRS, which is at uh, 123 4th Avenue. Uh -huh. um, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's uh, CRS, 123 4th Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, from 7 to 8. I'm going to be incorporating Reiki and sound therapy, so it's something you should definitely check out if you're available. I'm going to come play some music because I want to get into the dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you do it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Noelle Lauren, founder, head practitioner, Healing in the City. I will take a quick break right here, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more.